These third graders surrounding our Steve Spangler, with our Steve Spangler, are from Wilder Elementary in Littleton, Colorado. And Steve, they just wrapped up their annual invention convention. Do I have it right? These are the best inventors you'd ever mm -hmm. imagine. Somebody call a patent attorney because we're going to need one by the very end. Okay. Would you look at this? This almost looks like a real guinea pig. Can the camera look at this? You made an <laughs> animatronic guinea pig. How did you do that, Nicole? Well, I didn't. Um, oh, you didn't. Uh, this is real? Yeah. Can I hear him a little bit? Listen. Oh, oh I hear him. Now, what's his name? This is Piggy. Piggy, and you're Nicole, and you're in third grade. Is that right? And who's your mm -hmm. teacher? Miss Wilson. Miss Wilson, all right. Mm -hmm. So w show me your contraption here, your invention. What was your problem? Well, every time I picked him up, he would wiggle. See? Let's yeah. See if we can get him to do it. He's doing it right see? now. I see him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so he would scratch my wrist, causing him to bleed. Yes. So now I just... So now I invented the piggy hammock. I just yes. <laughs> pulled him up, I and Look now I don't that. get scratched. Oh, we'll show him right over here. Look at there is the piggy hammock right there. <laughs> he looks great. Right, and here you. all this time, I thought you invented That's the pig. Cute. It's wonderful. You did such thank a you. A plus. If your teacher's looking, A plus. Okay, got it. Okay. All right, Maddie. Uh, we have another animal kind of related thing. Who is your teacher at Wilder? Miss Wilson. Miss Wilson. And tell us what your invention is. Um, my invention is called the doggy slobber stopper. Because uh, they'll do that, won't they? They just slobber everywhere. Yes. Yes. Uh, my problem was that when my dog Barkley, when he drinks out of his water bowl, all the water would go all over the place. All the time. Just like this. Yes. Oh no! Oh, oh my uh, gosh! Uh, <laughs> wow, that wasn't in the script. That's really good. How you did that? That's really, all right. Good. And That's so then, what do you do? Okay, so um, I put this sponge on, and now when he drinks, he does this. Yeah. That's and oh. on this. Here, I'll help you. Hold on a second. There you go. Okay, okay. This, I love that invention. What a great invention. I need that for my little dog at home that does the same thing. I'm so proud of that. Nice job. Thanks. This man sitting next to you. Who are you? Oh, you're Scott. Hi, buddy. How are you? Good. You brought some good friends. Tell me what your problem was. Well, um, have you ever eaten soup and then it's too hot? Mm -hmm. Have you eaten soup and it's too hot? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it burns your tongue a lot, right? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. so... Um, I made this thermometer. Let's hold it right there so we can see. A mag it has a magnet attached to it right here. Yes. And so that way it easily attaches to the spoon here. Good. So then you can turn it on and put it in your soup and it'll tell how hot it is. Turn that around so we can see. <laughs> Will you hold it right there? <laughs> and where do you like your soup? Where, I what like temperature? It here, hold it right at, there. Um, uh, 153 degrees, maybe. Four out of five chefs say yeah. that, too. Yeah, 153 <laughs> yeah. degrees, yeah. exactly the right temperature. Yeah. And you could just pull it off and put it on another one, is that right? Yep. All right, so pull it off and put it on there. Only the finest of China will work so with I love your invention. <laughs> it's called the Spangler Tongue Saver. <laughs> and why wouldn't it be? Of I, I, it the attorney's <laughs> waiting for us, all right? So yeah. good, good, good. <gasps> Leah, show me what you have because you've got all of this contraption here. What is this? My invention was called bungee blankets. Yes. <laughs> and what do you do with bungee blankets? So, um, you, therefore, because whenever I went to sleep, my covers fell off. Of because course. I kick when I go to sleep. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you attach um, the clip onto yes. a side of the bed. Okay, so show me this. So this is the clip and you have a magnet on the clip, is that right? And then what do you do? You put it on the side of the bed? So you put it on the blanket where you want to stay on and right. then you bring it under and then you clip it on. <gasps> wow, so you kind of strap yourself in. <laughs> Mark has to do that for a different reason. That's he right. just kind of straps himself <laughs> in this right. way because he's the always kicking around. Yes, right. <laughs> so this comes around here like this and then this guy over here like this and you've got it. And have you fallen out of bed since then? That's you have not. That's a wonder. And who's your teacher? Mrs. Adams. Mrs. Adams. Very nice. Well, Mrs. Adams is very proud of you. I'm proud. Elise, would you show us what you have here? Because it's the most colorful. Would you? What is that? Oh, first of all, who's your teacher? Um, Miss Chandler and Larson. Yep, you got a split teacher, don't you? I like that. It's good to have two. Yeah. Tell me what you do. Um, well, it's actually a um, a portable cabana. Okay, and Ooh. how does a court, because who doesn't need that? Yeah. That's the problem. And what was your problem with your portable cabana? Um, whenever I'm at the beach, yes. there's either no place to change or you have to go in really stinky bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I hate that. Yuck. And so I just don't change clothes and I go into the water with my clothes on and that's not acceptable. <laughs> so show me what yours does. Um, well, you just open the latch. Yes. It's a shower curtain, a car, UV sunshade, and a bandana. And then you just 
open it up. Um, it's kind of big. So. It's okay, uh, and I'll um, help you. And then good. You just put it okay, in. good. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love that. And that. Oh, look at this. And she's changing inside. Uh. And now when she comes back, can I? Is it okay? Is it safe for me to take this off? Okay. Are you ready? Are we okay? Ta -da! Oh, you look like the same kid. I love that. <laughs> All right, we're going to sneak. I'm so proud of you. Hey, I'm going to sneak over real fast to Mark. How are you, buddy? Good. Okay, show us your invention real quickly. Well, my problem was that when, when I, whenever I went skiing or playing in the snow, I could never get the inside of my gloves dry. Tell I me. I hate it when that happens. Yes. And, and so I went to Home Depot with you. With me, I remember, yeah. yes. <laughs> and then we made this. Okay. So you put the hair dryer in here. Good. And you put... Um, wow. These gloves. over. Uh, good. Uh, look at that. Oh, good. Sure. And now turn it on. Good job. Oh, would you and look then, at that? And the hot air comes out of the holes. <laughs> yes. And so and then you close it dry. <laughs> I call my invention the DIY dryer. It's getting it dry, too. I found that. Mark and Kim, I've also found that if you put the blanket right over here and you give it to your spouse right as they're getting out of the shower, they love a warm blanket. <laughs> yes. I do that with Miss Spangler every time. She's, uh, I've never done it once. Those uh, are that's a problem. Steve, I have to say, would those you, are amazing. Would you look over here for me and would you look in the camera? These are our Yay. kids from Wilder, Mark and Kim. I'm going to toss it back to you. Marty. I'm so proud of them. Oh, terrific. We like to point out that the people at Home Depot do run when Steve shows up. Every time he comes in, they have no idea. No clue. Great job, kids. Nicely Good done. Job. Nice. You can see Ready? Steve's experiment again Good and job. his other projects by Good going job. to the As Seen tab on 9news.com.